so today we are going to start a new chapter that is carbon and its compounds so in this carbon and its compounds and its carbon and its compounds in this if you go for introduction in introduction we are going to study something about that is what do you exactly mean by carbon and its compounds indirectly we are learning something about the organic chemistry organic chemistry is nothing but chemistry of carbon compounds chemistry of carbon compounds if you take sources of sources of carbon compounds here we can take that is food food we consume food we consume the clothes we wear the medicines medicines which uh, we try to <coughs> use medicines which we try to use okay then you can take uh, wood which contains cellulose all these are made up of made of carbon that the source of carbon and you also know that atmosphere in atmosphere atmospheric percentage of carbon is approximately 0.03 so here carbon is everywhere carbon is available indirectly it's also available in oxides carbonates oxides carbonates then chlorides okay oxides and carbonates means you can take here carbon monoxide gas and carbon dioxide gas carbonates if you take it contains <coughs> calcium carbonate it also contains uh, you can take in the form of that is <coughs> some sometimes you can even take in the form of suboxides suboxide c3o2 and so on so all these are the sources of carbon compound so the next part of our discussion after introduction is that is we learn something exclusively about the properties of carbon uniqueness uniqueness of carbon we take uniqueness of carbon carbon is it's a non metal carbon is a non metal it has if carbon if you take atomic number is 6 so if you take consider this as nucleus first shell two electrons second shell four electrons so these four electrons are called valency electrons these four electrons are called valence electrons because of these four electrons the carbon carbon with the four valence electrons it will gain four electrons and it will form c4 minus and the same carbon it will lose four electrons and it will carry four positive charges that means here carbon here you can take one example example 
methane has minus 4 oxidation state methane has minus 4 oxidation state if you take carbon here example carbon dioxide carbon has plus 4 oxidation state that means carbon is available in both forms here c4 minus okay carbon exists in the form of hydride and uh, c4 plus carbon exists in the form of oxide next carbon can react with can react it reacts with the metals non metals and uh, and metalloids you can react with metals non metals and metalloids so that means that is the reason because it is able to react with the metals non metals and uh, metalloids it is because of this reason it is highly reactive element highly reactive highly reactive element and it shows an important property called catenation it is highly reactive element and it shows the property of catenation if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbsc syllabus